doing a quick review of the Stokes fire starter. This is a uh, product made by Adam, an eighth grader from Wayland, Massachusetts. It is made completely from recycled materials, egg crates, wax, and uh, shavings from um, wood, right? Wood shop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can create a, if I can start a fire using my uh, fire steel. So what I did was I took one of these stokes, I ripped up the egg crate into small pieces and put it on top there. And we're going to go see if we can start our campfire with a fire steel. Okay, now here we are at the fire. Great test of the stokes fire starter because it has been raining. We got some giant logs that have been wet. And if the, if the Stokes really works, then we should be able to still start a fire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Stokes that I cut up. I just ripped up by hand some of the pieces here. All right. Hopefully to get some flame from my ferro rod. So, ready? So Auntie Peg had a little lesson. Yeah, just like that. Oh, shoot. Wait. Oh, crap. A little lesson. Now she's going to work it. Push it, push, it, push the tip of the, push the tip of this right, yeah, hold it steady with that, there you go. Yep, just use your wrist and your thumb. There's no sparks. Good thing I'm na not naked and afraid with you. Press harder, there you go. Keep going. Yay! Yeah, okay. yeah, just keep it up, just keep it up. Press hard. You want to scrape a lot of good gummy stuff off of there. Can we start hard. over? <laughs> there you go, you're getting close. Press hard. You have to press hard. You're going to get some good, robust sparks coming off of that. Oh, oh. Yep, yeah. okay, wait. Don't blow on it. Do not blow on it. You'll kill it. You don't need to blow on it. Give it a second. I think it'll it'll catch by itself. Don't blow on it. You'll kill it. Don't blow on it. <laughs> if you move, it kind of works. Auntie Peggy is impressive. See, just with this and this and this. Wait, let me see the muscles again. Yeah, I think it worked. Give it a second. There we go. Now you now reach down below. Yeah, place it in carefully. Don't lose it. And then let's see if you can get us a, a raging fire quicker than I than the power did yesterday. Oh, yeah. I will because I have some big old lots. Okay. We'll see. Go. Give it some air between those two. Kevin, come back over here, please. You're too far away. What you gonna do now? She's naked. She's naked and Ronnie's afraid. Actually, you're not naked, Peg. No, you want that? No, no, no. Cross, cross, one more in the middle. Come on, Ava. I'm watching Auntie Piggy. Now, one more to go across the two of those in the middle. You won't use Kevin's. Those are Kevin's. A, a, those are Kevin's. A, a thinner one. Alright, so that's good. Put that across the middle. Yeah, that's Wow. Good. So, what, what can you tell us about your experience, Peg? Okay? How difficult was that? Easy. Can you survive in the wilderness? Only if I have these. You have the at and, and what? The stoves. And where will we find water around here? <laughs> no idea. No I'm idea. Well, yes. I am our, our wives are waiting. I am not the water. <laughs> yes. Yes. It, we got the rainbow, so we've got evidence of rain. And now where could we find a shelter? <laughs> right here. <laughs> 
What about something to drink? Uh, well, you can go with the Sebago Fries Leap IPA. It's one of my specialties. We have succeeded. Yes, we have. You've got push. We've got fire. <laughs>